Hello! Today our guest is an awesome guitar player from Italy who have been participating in quite many international contests and in quite a few of them he actually got the first prize. He's also announced as the third best acoustic guitar player in the world by Music Radar in 2020. Daniel Mamarella. Daniel, how do you manage to play so very fast and smooth? Like these? <laughs> yeah, well, this is with beautiful melodies, but sometimes you also do like. Could you please um, explain, for example, because there, there, there is this part where, where you, which sounds like super fast, like uh, it, it's like uh, Ingvi Malmsteen would be on speed, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, how, sure. How do you do it? How, how, is there a secret between playing this uh, beautiful legato thing? Yeah, yeah, at the okay. the introduction and also at the end. The most things about the secrets uh, of this playing is in, in my right hand and not in my left hand. Oh, okay, huh? because I used to do um, a lot of ghost notes. For example, when I play uh, Dennis Blues, if I play it slowly, it would be like this. It's not so many notes, but when you play, when you use uh, your right hand in the right way, so. You can um, pretend, okay, you know what I mean. Pretend uh, to make um, a lot of uh, notes. For example, I used to do these things. You know? Okay, and the final result is this. Yeah. You know? Cool. Okay. For example, sorry, but I have to turn my guitar. <laughs> So, for example, this is a song of mine that it's called Windy from uh, my album Moonshine. This is uh, just a simple melody. But if you let, uh, if you take uh, take out the this ghost notes, the melody is just. Uh and when you play uh, your uh, with your right hand, these uh, these little 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 notes on uh, your strings, you can make this effect. It seems like you uh, was playing a lot of notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think this is the the secrets um, of my 
fast playing, but it's not so fast. You know, I'm a fan of the Beatles, so I love melody. I also wrote uh, many songs with a uh, slowly melody, with uh, ballads and uh, pop music, uh, like for example, Moonshine. <laughs> like to suggest to young um, fingerstyle players because there are many fingerstyle players who does like uh, well they, they really make amazing music but uh, they do like very fast like things yeah, and then hit on the mean. guitar and sometimes melody is missing when I listen to your music I can always hear melody like I can hear it right away that melody Thanks. for you is important and also well now when you say that it's uh, ins uh, that you are getting inspired by music made by Beatles, it totally makes sense because uh, they, for them also melody is well, probably one of them. So what yeah. would you like to suggest to young fingerstyle players? Fingerstyle uh, now is uh, more uh, percussion, uh, many melodies uh, everywhere uh, because uh, no, you know. Uh, you have to show your uh, your skills to everyone, but uh, I think the most important thing is uh, what you what you are listening and no not what you are watching. Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, the what you hear but not what you see. You mean like uh, what, yeah, what, yeah. What somebody in audience, but but what they he uh, hear but not what they see. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, you you made the, the right the right thing when uh, people take your CD, uh, put it in the radio and uh, it, uh, it just listening from the first song to the last song. This is what uh, what I mean when I when I say you you play a good finger style, okay? Mm -hmm. So I suggest to take your time and playing a slowly a slowly melody. You can show your skill also with a good melody, not not with your uh, you know percussions and uh, blah, 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 blah. cool. For example, I play also you you know you just you just watch me to play <laughs> uh, percussion and uh, these the skills. I think uh, you can put these the skills in the in the right context of a song. For example, uh, I used to play this uh, little um, this little percussion on my guitar. For example, in this in this song, it's called "In the Sky." This is what I mean with melody. With my yeah, with my percussions, okay, mm -hmm. and, uh, and melody. For me, the most important thing is uh, the melody, okay, and not all uh, all around that, all around that, yeah. Okay, but uh, still, when it comes to percussion, how do you make the sound of kick, and how do you make the sound of snare? Oh, okay, it depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Usually, I used to do uh, a lot of. Um, Can you break your guitar like huh? this? Can you break your guitar like I this? I broke my guitar. Yeah? Yeah. I made it fixed by a looter uh, in, uh, in my region uh, because uh, 
I made a, a big hole here with my boom 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 because when I play live uh, I used to I used to dance uh, I used to going going crazy and punch my guitar area <laughs> like Jimmy Hendrix uh, so my Luther, my Luther uh, says me uh, oh Daniela you you have to go quietly on the stage and uh, oh yes take it I easy. will uh, yeah take it easy Daniela take it easy oh yeah yeah sure uh, you're right you're right and when I'm on the stage bam 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 <laughs> so this is the master class how to waste your money <laughs> by hitting your guitar yeah and, and then uh, this is one method and uh, you told that you have an other oh this is your snare yeah exactly ah uh, yeah I can do the the same example the, the example uh, on the same in the same song uh, I played before but sometimes you also hit uh, with uh, on strings too like uh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah sure uh, I, I, I will make an, an example mm -hmm. On uh, this, this, and this all together. Oh, okay. So it's like like having two snares. Like drummer would have like two snares. Yeah, and, probably. Yeah. And is it inspired by flamenco? Do you have flamenco mm, no. influence? No. No, no. I uh, never had the flamenco X uh, influence. But uh, this is all um, things that uh, I learned when I was uh, uh, young. Yeah, yeah. At what age did you start? Huh? At what age did you start? Uh, I started to play guitar when I was uh, eight. Eight? Yeah, Good yeah, Good age, yeah. eh? Start. Since yeah. you're a kid, basically. Yeah. You're playing guitar. You're yes, doing. yes. Perfect. I was telling you about uh, Wind... Uh, wind. Oh, this is Windy Part 2. It will be on... Uh, it, it will be on my third album, so this is uh, an inedit song. <laughs> Your new album. When is this coming out? Uh, I think it will come out uh, in December. Mm -hmm. I hope. Beautiful. <laughs> I hope. So I was telling you about this uh, this percussion on a uh, guitar. This is a little example. This is the melody. I think that uh, I used percussion uh, like a part of the songs, uh, not like uh, there is a drum uh, next to me and a player that uh, a guitar player that play uh, alone. Okay, mm -hmm. I used to uh, make make percussion part of the songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what tunings do you use? This one is in a... It's a standard. Uh, uh, it's a yeah, standard. yeah, usually. It sounds like it would be open tuning. The way you play it is like the, you have the open string resonance. Yeah, I love the... Uh, oh, but it's drop D. This is drop D. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is drop D. But I, I think drop D is your favorite uh, tuning, no? Yeah, I wrote uh, many songs with uh, mm. with the drop D. Like, uh, <laughs> there is a song named uh, uh, D Train. Uh? It's D Train because uh, dedicate this song to the D, <laughs> to the not D, okay? <laughs> so the, the people are, oh, what is D train? Uh, it's difficult to explain. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be a guitar player to understand that. It's a song uh, that I played only with the bass in, uh, in D. And uh, I don't touch other basses and uh, on the other notes. So it's the train. Yeah, usually I use the standard tune or uh, drop D, but I have also uh, songs with um, uh, open tuning, and um, usually I use this tuning. That uh, oh, don't ask me <laughs> how, how I made it because uh, you know when you when you are young uh, and take your your first guitar. Uh, start to get out of tune uh, all the strings uh, because you are cool to do, to see what what you do and was born uh, the best my best tuning uh, my, my best tuning mm -hmm. and favorite tuning uh, no my favorite. best my best and my favorite also yeah 
uh, because it's the only open tuning that I play that I use. Mm -hmm. So do you think that, uh, when, for example, since most of your songs are in standard tuning or mm -hmm. in drop D, do you think open uh, when you switch to open tuning, does it also make your performance sound like um, more dynamic? Because the song uh, is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, uh, usually yes. With the open tuning, it's more easy to write a song, to compose a song, mm. because you know it is a. Uh, this that is so dynamic harmony make, make it easy to, to play some melodies uh, without uh, um, press the, the frets uh, to make it, uh, to make basses notes and melody with the other things mm -hmm. with, the, uh, with the other fingers I can make you uh, some uh, an example of, of my songs this is a, a song it's called uh, waterfall it is a Pizzica Celtica, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Pizzica is a traditional, uh, traditional uh, type of music of my of my country in Italy, uh, especially in the South Italy. And uh, Celtic, I'm talking about Celtic music. It is a little mesh up, and I hope it works. I forgot to say that I think that one of the most important things when you play the guitar, especially on uh, on the stage, you need to pay more attention to um, the dynamic, okay? Because you have to um, take the interest of the of the of your public, mm -hmm. okay? Dynamic can help you to make a good show. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I think this. Yeah, beautiful. Daniel, thank you so much for sharing oh, your secrets you. with us and thank you so much for uh, demonstrating your beautiful music oh, and uh, it's really too. incredible. I have a few more questions to you. Yeah. First of all, if there would be, for example, there are many young guitar players out there who uh, are very passionate about fingerstyle guitar and they are learning. So, uh, which artists you would suggest to check out more, we, what songs w you would suggest to yeah. learn, what, what uh, ar arrangements, how to make like arrangements of popular songs for example, how, how can they... Yeah, first of all uh, you you need to know the, the blues, okay, the uh, I think that, that the blues is the big bang of music, of modern music, so uh, you have to know this, uh, this style. For the um, because you know modern guitar, ex uh, especially the finger style, uh, born uh, with uh, the bluesmen. Uh, for example, uh, the famous uh, artist uh, Robert Johnson. I think uh, I think this uh, the blues is the most important uh, uh, style to know uh, when you start to play fingerstyle guitar. Also the other traditional musics. Uh, yeah, some artists that, that, that I can suggest to you is uh, obviously the Beatles. <laughs> obviously the Beatles. Uh, um... Like also fingerstyle arrangements of Beatles, for example. Huh? Because there are many fingerstyle arrangements of uh, Beatles song, do you suggest people to study that too? or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I always suggest you can... Uh, you 
you can study arrangement of other people so you can try to make an arrangement uh, by yourself of your mm -hmm. so of the their songs but uh, no i was meaning another thing for example i'm influenced by the Beatles. Uh, for the melody, mm -hmm. okay. I already said uh, before the melody for me is the important thing. Yes, yeah, so uh, also also for the guitar playing of uh, George Harrison, uh, also Paul McCartney, for example. You know, Blackbird is uh, a masterpiece of the fingerstyle uh, fingerstyle guitar. Also, Tommy Emmanuel, for example, uh, uh, made a lot of arrangement Beatles songs. Do you suggest to study Tommy Emmanuel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still have studied uh, Tommy yeah, Emmanuel. Yeah, I started to study Tommy Emmanuel when I was. Uh, okay, I have to say that if my old teacher are watching me, <laughs> I can say I can say this thing. Uh, my teacher was a little bit crazy. <laughs> he was made me study Tommy Emmanuel when I was eleven. And you wow. know, you can imagine a little, uh, a little kid. Uh, okay, this is the paper of, with uh, Tommy <laughs> Manuel songs. So you have to play Tor Fiddler now. What? Uh, okay. And you start to to learn these thing, these fast things, and your blood came out your fingers. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, after three months, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> When, uh, when uh, yeah. I mean when you're a kid, yeah. So I start to play with uh, fingerstyle with uh, with Tommy with Tommy and Manuel uh, songs. So I can suggest, yeah. And uh, it must be, it must be really incredibly amazing feeling that to be listed in music radar right after Tommy Emmanuel as one of the <laughs> this thing made made me cry when I, when I see it I was uh, I was uh, on a theater show in uh, in Pescara in uh, my region and my telephone was um, I don't remember where but I seen I seen the screen that uh, that um, turn turn on no and uh, I see the notif the no no notify uh, of a music radar tag tag you in your post what music rather? I open it and see it that uh, I'm I was in this score with Tommy Emmanuel, Andy McKee, John Gom, all all guitarists that obviously I suggest to to you to start to learn your the, the, the fingers. I I think I I cried uh, for all, all the day. Wow. Yeah, I think I cried all for all the day. It's very inspiring to to hear that uh, that that you as a young guitarist uh, that you got uh, to. Thanks if you if you think so. Thanks. <laughs> um, I think many people who watched this video until now they watched it because they really enjoyed your music since you were demonstrating uh, uh, parts of your songs. So can you please tell us um, how to find your music? Where to yeah. follow you? Okay, you can you can uh, find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, you know all the socials. Uh, <laughs> all the socials. If you if you like, you can uh, listen to my music. Obviously, first of all, at my concert live. Uh, I prefer this. Uh, you can search my music also on Spotify, Amazon Music. You can buy my CDs. Uh, you know everywhere on, on the internet. But I prefer at my concert. I repeat. <laughs> Uh, my and CDs are Past, Present, Let's Soap and uh, the last one Moonshine and uh, in December we'll, uh, we'll be released the third one. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful. you so much for everything. Thank you so much for watching and um, well, we just played a few shows in Latvia and I'm very sure that we will get Daniel back to Baltic States. It would soon. be amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>